Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet a one round leaf with a stem. For this project, you'll need some yarn, a hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. I'm using some Red Heart Super Saver. This is the spring green colorway and a five millimeter H crochet hook. However, you can use pretty much any yarn you want. And if you're unsure about the hook to use with your yarn, just check the yarn label for the hook recommendation. And to begin, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. I also wanted to mention that using this particular yarn and hook gave me a leaf of about one inch wide. So I wanted to just add that. So we're gonna put a slip knot on our hook Wrap the yarn around your fingers, bring it around behind. You'll have a circle with a line. Reach in with your crochet hook and pull up to tighten, just like that. Next, we're going to chain four. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and pull it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to join to make a ring. So in the last chain from your hook, you're going to work a slip stitch. To make your slip stitch, insert the hook into the chain, bring up a loop, and then bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. And then what I like to do is kind of pull it open a little, because from this point on, we're going to work all the stitches into the center of this ring. So I like to pull it open just to see where I'm gonna be working. And I wanted to mention also that you have a yarn tail here. If you hold it along the back of your ring here, you can weave the ends in as you go along and you work your stitches. So to begin, we're going to work three double crochets into the center of the ring. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Then we'll work two more for a total of three. So that's two and three. Next, we're going to work a single crochet. To make a single crochet, insert the hook into the ring, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Then we're gonna move on to the stem. To make the stem, chain three, one, two, and three. And then in a second chain from the hook, we're going to work a slip stitch. So this loop here does not count. If you notice, I'm tightening a little bit to give the bottom of the stem a nice clean edge. So in the second chain from the hook, one, two, we're going to work a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the stitch, or the chain, excuse me, bring up a loop, and bring that loop through the loop on your hook. Work a slip stitch in the next chain. And then we're gonna finish off our stem by working a slip stitch into the stitch at the base of the stem. Just like that. So our stem is complete. To finish our leaf, and again, I'm holding this yarn here so I can weave in the ends as I go along. So we're gonna come up the bottom of the leaf by working three double crochets. That's one, two, and three. Next, we're going to work four single crochets. Insert the hook into the ring, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. That's one, two, three, and four. And then to make the point of our leaf, we're going to work a treble crochet. To work a treble crochet, wrap yarn around hook two times, insert it into the ring, Bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, 
yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So as you can see, our leaf is starting to take shape. Then we're going to finish off our leaf by working four single crochets. So one, and it's helpful as you work all these stitches to kind of push the stitches over a little bit so you have a space to work in. Second single crochet, third single crochet, and the last single crochet. And then we will join with a slip stitch to close, just like that. And then you'll take your scissors Trim that and fasten off. Next, because it's one round and it's really small, we're going to have to shape it up a little. So we want to pull up on this point, pull down on the stem a little bit. And like I said, we weaved in the end as we went along. So you want to take this strand here along the back and pull it really, really tight. What that will do is close up this hole. And then what you can do is take your scissors and just snip this piece off like that. And then with your tapestry needle, you'll have another end left on the side here. So thread a tapestry needle and then flip your leaf over to the back. And then you want to just run it in to the stitches along the back. There's no real rhyme or reason. Just make sure you're not coming through to the front. You're keeping those along that back layer. And then I like to just do another little pass just to make sure everything's nice and secure. So then we'll have our end. We can take our scissors and trim that piece. I like to give it a little tug, trim it, then pull it and that piece will disappear. Then you can shape it up a little bit more. You have a one round leaf. So that completes our tutorial and you can use these um, if you crochet some flowers as part of a bouquet. You can use it as a little pin or you can use it as an applique. So that's our one round leaf with a stem and be sure and check out the other video if you do not want a stem. Uh, that will show you how to make a one round leaf that is stemless. So thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.